Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Watch out where you're going, Claudia. I'm watching. Why do we always have to do our Christmas shopping at the last minute? We don't always do our Christmas shopping at the last minute, David. We've only been Christmas shopping for two years. This one makes it two. Well, how much farther is it to the store? I want to get back to the office before five. Oh, excuse Just me. down the street a little ways more. David, stop looking so grumpy. Your Christmas shopping is supposed to fill people with joy and happiness. Claudia, watch out where you... Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Excuse me. Oh, for heaven's sake. Give me your hand. Here, darling. Oh, I think Mama will love that black alligator bag, don't you, David? I haven't seen it, remember? Oh, so you haven't. Well, anyway, Mama will love it. Nice, handsome, plain-looking. You know, it's not, not easy giving Mama a present, David. Excuse You're telling me, me it's not easy. I've been pushing around in this mob of traffic till I feel like kind a bat my <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't know what it is about men. They make such a fuss. I sort of enjoy a crowd now and again. Yes, the black alligator bag it is. Just the present for Mama. It looks so stunning under her arm, David. And it'll go perfectly with your gray suit. That I know. is not why I'm buying. Proof much. I know you have an ulterior motive. I haven't. <laughs> and well, I haven't got a black pocket book here. either. Get over here. Besides, it's very nice when Mama, Mother and Daughter can lend and borrow. Especially when you do the borrowing and Mama the lending. Especially. <laughs> oh, David, Christmas is nice. Go on, David. Admit it. Say it's nice. All oh, this wacky shopping yeah, business. Right. Nice. I... I don't know how I'll let you talk me into coming with you. I know, because you're as sentimental about Mama as I am. And she's much too good for you. Oh, you're telling me. That's why I wanted to give her the best pocketbook I could possibly find. To go with your gray oh. suit. We made it. Here we are. Here's the store, David. Look out for those boxes. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Excuse me. There, there. Wish we were back home. <laughs> well, we might as well go in. Come on, hang on. I'm hanging by my feet. <laughs> Well, this isn't so bad, David. Come on, let's go in. Not really so crowded. No, no it isn't so bad. Just not look as at many crowd. people as on the street. Well, it's not as big either. Hey, your your hat's on crooked, darling. Surprise, it's on at all. Well, where do we go from we here? Just, just go back, straight back, two counters down. Two counters down. That looks like Sorry, seven Mr. miles. Why didn't you buy the bag when you saw it this morning? Well, I. I just wasn't sure that we'd decide to give it to Mama, that's all. And what made you decide we would? I just decided. Well, never again am I going David, to... David, you look so grim as if you're playing football. An apt description of how I feel. Come on. Oh, here we are. We made it. <laughs> We've still got one counter to go. Come on. Forward. If there's any buttons left on my coat, it isn't any fault of mine. Oh, uh, how do I look, darling? Your ears peeking through. Which one? Where? Both of them. Oh, for heaven's sake. Well, those can't be helped. Oh, um, uh, mister, please Who put... Who are you put... yelling to? Salesman. That's what you call a salesman. Well, not mister, I'll tell you I that. I know that much. I just... Stop waving. He'll be over here in a moment. He's just taking care of that lady, can't you see? Now, be patient. David, now, you cannot shop with that attitude. Nobody else is patient. It's a fight for survival. When women shop, they always have to be first. They simply can't wait their turn. When women shop, they know what they're doing, my Always boy. jockeying for position. Lady, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, you stand still. The salesman will take care of us as soon as he can. Oh, not a minute sooner, believe me. David, how you can be so righteous at a time like this? I'm not righteous, I'm right. Well, I won't quibble. Stand here. Uh, Claudia, stop me. pushing. I'm not Please pushing. Now. Somebody's pushing me. Pardon Please me, young lady, but would you mind if I stepped up to the counter? I would mind. I'm still well, the counter. Well, of all the... You little viper. She'd have taken our place at the counter and we never would have gotten back, David. You don't trust your fellow woman at all, do you? No, not at all. I can't understand it. If we were buying all this simple little black alligator bag, why we couldn't have done it weeks ago? Well, I didn't think of it weeks ago, darling. I shopped for everybody else weeks ago, but for Mama, I, I needed inspiration. Well, a black alligator bag doesn't seem like much inspiration to me. Besides, it's not like Christmas if you don't shop just before it. 
Mm, I suspected as much. Oh, it's a good thing I realize you're not as grumpy as you act. I'm grumpy. Your lady, I... Oh, 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 uh, mister, could you... You don't call a salesman mister. All right, I'll call him Joe, then. Uh, Joe or Mike or whatever you want to do, just don't call him mister. You call a waiter, waiter, why can't you call a salesman... Sailor. Very funny. Oh, not so. Sailor, where have I heard that before? Oh, sailor, of course. But don't call Please, him. Please, sir, we're, we're... I'll be right with you, madam. I'm occupied. But we're next. I'll be right with you, madam, as soon as I finish with this customer. David, we were next. We came before that woman, that, that woman in the red hat. We were... You get to us now. Have a little patience. Have a little patience. That's all I ever hear. David, do you think Mama will like it? A little patience on your part? I think she'd I'm love it. Black pocketbook on her part, though. Oh, I don't think she'll mind it. It's not exactly inspirational, but it's It's awfully hard to give a present to Mama. It's such a business of saying, Now, children, I don't want presents. I don't want you to go out spending your money buying me anything. I thought you said she needed a pocketbook. She does. I do, too. So I don't see how she could object, do you? Besides, you, you don't... You don't think she means it, do you, David? About not giving a present, do you? No, I don't think she means it. Because that's almost the sort of thing I'd say, but I love getting presents. Oh, I think people just say what Mama says, so other people like us won't feel obligated, don't you? I think that salesman forgotten we're alive. Yeah, I think I'll let him know. What will I, what'll I call him? I thought you decided. Well, it's it's not easy. He certainly doesn't have much personality, does he? <clears throat> Salesman, yeah, madam, please. I'll be right back. I'm taking care of this customer. But you said we were Claudia, next. Claudia, Claudia, Claudia. Show what I'm doing, David. Shh. Yeah, madam, please, I'm trying to do my best. Well, it's not good enough. We're short of sales clerk, madam, and I'm only doing what I can. I, I know that it's difficult for you, but we... I'll be right with you in just a moment. Now, madam, time is relative. Not to me, it isn't. David, don't pretend so much you don't care. I'm starting not to care. I only hope Mama appreciates this. Well, she'll tell us we shouldn't have done it. I hate that, Sales. David, stop pushing. You're stepping on my arm. I'm the only man in the store. Excuse me, I'm still trying to get to this counter. Well, it won't do you any good when you get here, madam. Why not, young man? There is nothing when you get here. Nothing at all, believe me. Oh, the cannabis and truly some people. David, you were wonderful. She dissolved into the crowd. I have half a mind to dissolve out of the store. You wouldn't get to the door. (laughs) Joy. Oh, honestly, really, there is no excuse for this kind of inefficiency. What's nobody's fault but ours? What are we Listen, doing? If here? you if, if you ran your business so slovenly, you wouldn't be an architect for five minutes. Well, architecture's different. You haven't got enough sales clerks. That's that's plain. It's simply inefficiency. They never have enough at Christmas. It's plain normal. Will you stop looking so remote? We ask for this. I am sorry, lady. I am very sorry. We shouldn't have sorry. come. Stop saying that. I'm just being realistic. You're being infuriating. If there's anything I can't stand at a time like this, it's cold calm. Would you rather I tear your hair? Yes, much rather. If a bus passes me on the street, I could kill it. This is the same thing, exactly. It's the female in here. That salesman, I get out. Oh, to cheerfully kill him. Poor little man. Obviously. You, you women have made a mess of this shopping business. Look at all of you, clustering around like hens for your feet. I'm, I'm going. Go on, then. Mama go doesn't on. need a bag. We'll give her the money instead. Fine by Come me. on, let's go. You mean it? Well, I, I guess since we're here, we might as well stay. Mama should have something on the tree, I, I guess. But never again am I going to go sweet. I am not sweet. Telling me won't make me sweet. You're a big help to me, David. You're an enormous help. I can see that I'll just have to do it all. Sales clerk, you you come over here and wait on me this minute. You're shouting so everyone can hear you. Of course I am. Now, madam, I'll be with you in a moment. I can't be in ten places at once. You have ignored us for the last ten minutes. These customers came in ahead of you. They did not. And if you'll be patient enough for just one moment longer, I'll be very happy to do what I can for you. stop making a scene. I, I, I distinctly noticed that that woman with the purple hat came in later than we do. Well, she's older than we are. There is a time for respect, and there is a time for survival, and this is it. Sales clerk, if, if, if you don't come over here and wait on us, I'll call the manager. Yeah, a lot of good that'll do you. The manager's gone home with a headache. Well, what about the assistant manager? 
there's anything I can't stand, it's disorganization. Having one clerk behind this counter, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Why, five wouldn't be able to handle this Claudia, business. Claudia, it's Christmas. Christmas is Christmas. I know it's Christmas. We've been expecting Christmas for 365 days. No reason why we can't be ready for it. My point, exactly. Hey, whose side are you on? Look, he's through with that customer. He's wrapping up her bag. David, wait till you see the pocketbook. It'll make up for everything because it's so, so right. It's just like Mama. And that salesman doesn't come over to us after that customer. I will I leave, will. Mama but, or no. I'll tell you coming that, right? his way, coming his way. Oh, Mr. Fingers. Um, sales clerk. Right oh, after I take care of this lady. Oh, you're waiting a long right. time. Certainly. So right. what do you think we have? I'll be right with you, madam. I can't divide myself into eight parts. I have only two feet and two hands. Well, they're not enough. I'm doing my very best, madam. Oh, two feet. My husband is, is getting very impatient. It's my All right, it's all my right. Turn, Madam, please. just a moment, but please. I'll be right turn. with you, but these people are... I'm well, not you going know to wait here any are. longer. Well, you'd better come back to yes. me right afterwards, because if you don't, yes, I'm going right Yes, madam, to I'll be back with sticks. you, but these people, the easiest thing to do is to see what they want. Mm, I heard every word he said. Now, who cares what he said or not? I don't. Now, then, what is it I can do for you? Well... Hello. Well, just ask him, Claudia, Hello. quickly. Get it over. Only being polite. Yes, madam. Now, I saw a black alligator bag in your window this morning. This morning? And, yes, it, it was in the left window. Oh, the black alligator bag with the gold clasp, that's solid right. gold, 14 carats? Yes. And yes, the, that's uh, the, one. the little clasp was in a little rod with a ring through it? That is just the one. Yeah, and it was about as large as a dictionary? Just about that size. Exactly. Yeah, now, yeah. the bag was 42.50. David. 42.50, fine. Wrap it up, please. And you want a black one? Yes, black one. Black one. Well, I'm terribly sorry, but I sold the last one just ten minutes ago. You what? If you'd come in just ten minutes sooner, madam, I would have been very happy to sell it to you. But it, 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 it's impossible. Is it? You ten couldn't... minutes sooner? What do you mean? We, we, we were here. We were standing right here on this spot exactly ten minutes ago. David, it's all your fault. If you had... If you had... We've been standing I here. I do if you what around I and look, can. Just because we were trying to be polite. That lady had a box right in the middle of the small of my back. David, David, please let's go. Your nostrils are quivering. You bet your sweet life they're quivering. Well, of all, all of the... Crazy and say not if we'd have been here ten minutes ago. I never heard of such a thing. And you, the very idea of you blaming this on me. Yes, madam, I have. Don't say another word. If you won't say another word, I won't either. That's right, baby. Thank you. And before you go, may I wish you folks a happy holiday greeting. To keep the season appropriately merry and at the same time keep within the family budget often seems to call for feats of magic. But since a 24-bottle case of Coca-Cola costs only a dollar, no magic is really called for. Just call for a case of Coke today. Put a good supply on ice and let the hospitality begin. Oh, sir. Uh, yes? Perhaps you can tell me, why did that gentleman get so upset? I, I think he was disappointed about the bag. He seemed so very upset. And uh, waiting around for nothing. Uh, that upset him, too. I do what I can. Of course you do. Well, back to the howling horde. Uh, by the way, don't you think women shop better without their husbands? Uh, personally, I think so. I can cope with the ladies, but the men, never. Well, in spite of that, Claudia's very grateful David's along tomorrow to bail her out when she buys his present. The pleasure is all theirs. Oh, my aching feet. Oh, heavens, look at all those women. Oh, there, there. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola.